The number one question that I get asked all the time is, do I take any supplements on carnivore? And if so, what are they? Well, the answer is yes, I actually do. I take five supplements. Let's go over them. Please don't forget to smash that like button, as Scott says. <laughs> comment and subscribe. You can help me reach other people to spread the word of carnivore and share this health journey. The first supplement that I use is Redman's Sea Salt Crystals. They look like this. I use this pretty much every day. There's a couple reasons I use it. The first reason is, is it helps me get a massive amount of sodium if I need it, but also I use it for cravings. It helps immensely with cravings. You just suck on it few times drink a little bit of water and most of the time it'll cut through the craving. I resisted using this for quite a while but I tell you it has helped more than anything else with the cravings. The second one is Element and here's why. The reason that this is one of the other supplements that I use throughout my day and week is because it's got sodium, magnesium, and potassium in it. I sweat a lot. I am moving around a lot. Yeah, I get a lot of sodium from the salt I intake. However, I don't consume enough to replace what I'm sweating out. Same thing, we lose potassium and magnesium when we sweat. They are vital nutrients for the body. The way our muscles pump are through sodium potassium pumps. It is devastating if we don't have enough in the body. Plus, I feel tired, fatigued, all these kinds of things. And magnesium, for those of you who didn't know, is actually one of the nutrients that our body uses to help regulate glucose levels. They do tons and tons of other things, but they are very, very important that we intake. So this has got the sodium, magnesium, potassium in it. As I said, it helps with headaches, cramps, fatigues, muscle aches, those kinds of things that I get with it. Right now, Element's offering an eight pack sample pack free with any purchase. You just need to go to drinkelement.com forward slash carnivorous me. That's D-R-I-N-K-L-M-N-T dot com forward slash carnivorous me. Something else I will say with the autoimmune stuff, the weather has been changing a lot lately, rainy, cold stuff, but having a little bit more than what I have been having for aches and things like that. So here Scott is parenting me <laughs> making me drink it all because it does help it does and so he's ensuring that I'm getting it down every morning number three is Lugol's 2% iodine I get this off Amazon and it is in my Amazon shop if you want to get the exact same kind I get I use this because again multiple reasons the main reason we mostly know about is thyroid you need iodine for the thyroid to function the thyroid is what controls our metabolism in our body okay it's really important that we have it i don't use iodine salt because of anti-caking agents and i also don't eat a lot of seafood just because that is my preference also the benefit of iodine is every single cell every single cell in our body uses iodine to function properly so it's something that's really important if you're not getting it from processed foods, pre-made foods and things like that, where a lot of iodine has been injected over time, then doing something like this, I think is really important. And that's why I use this. Number four is I use Country Life's vitamin D3. I just like Country Life. It's the brand I use. It is very important. D3 plays a huge role in our digestion in making enzymes, pretty much making the cells in our body. It is actually a vital nutrient. Because I live in Washington state, I do not get a lot of direct sunlight, even if I stayed outside all the time. Also, I take hydroxychloroquine, which essentially makes me allergic to sunlight. I get a rash if I'm out there too long, and it is hard to tell till afterwards how much is too much sun for me until I break out and it's literally an allergic reaction. So I do that. If you live pretty much on the northern part of the states, it's actually a very good idea to do it, and most physicians recommend it. Something I do want to point out is Scott and I stopped by Costco and we looked at their D3. They had a lot of soybean oil and stuff in there, so be really, really vigilant when you go and look for your vitamin D or any of your vitamins that they don't have fillers in them because they sneak them in there to give a larger volume at less cost. Number five, my last one is I take a core daily women's multivitamin. Same thing, country life. Why? First reason, I agreed to do it for my physician. That was his one request and I felt like it was not out of line to do it. 
too. If I'm missing anything in my diet, it's already filled in by taking it. It removes any stress I might have of things I might be missing. I don't like things like liver and organ meat. I am eating kind of a narrower purview of the carnivore diet because that is what I like and don't like. And this fills in any of the gaps, okay? There's gonna be people who say you don't need it, some that do. I'm in the camp of I would rather be safe than sorry. Also, it has folate and things like that for next year when Scott and I wanna start having kids, which is very important not to be missing folic acid in our diet. So those are the five supplements I use and why. As always, please don't like to Please don't like that. <laughs> please don't forget. No. Please. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. <laughs> Restart. Lord, this is like the fifth time. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you've liked any of my content, it helps me reach other people. <laughs> My brain just went blank. Please send me some coffee in the coffee, mail. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Let's lay a coffee pipeline from your house to here. All right, pause.